In the heart of Bomet, Kenya's mightiest prophet, Dr. David Awar, has caused a star with his recent crusade. The highly anticipated event drew in legions of devoted followers who flocked to witness the man of God perform miracles and teach about holiness. But it wasn't just the thousands of people who turned up for the event that caught the attention of many. It was his presidential style entrance, complete with German machines flanked by armed police officers hired to ensure the law and order is maintained during the crusade. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. As Twitter erupted the reactions to the spectacles, users pointed out that Dr. War's entrance was a stark contrast to that of Jesus, who famously entered Jerusalem riding on a donkey. One user joked that the prophet arrived in a 2018 Cadillac Escalade valued 87,695 US dollars, further fueling the controversy surrounding his opulent lifestyle. Unlike Jesus who entered Jerusalem riding on a donkey, the mightiest prophet of war entered Bomet in pomp and opulence to correct all God's mistake, giving sight to the blind, fertility to the barren, legs to amputees, heal those with HIV and AIDS, and promise them a better life after death. One Twitter user reacted to Dr. O'Rourke's crusade. Now, the good doctor's arrival in Bomet was nothing short of miraculous, as shortly after his appearance, heavy rains that many had waited for long came pouring down. A video making rounds on social medias shows the prophet dancing with his followers as they chanted in unison, the rain has come. Coincidence, we think this might not be coincidence. But it wasn't just the rain that drew in the crowds, as the presence of Mumia's East MP, Peter Salasia, also made waves at the crusade. Apparently, Mumia's East MP, Peter Salasia, and Bomet women representative Lynette Toto also attended the crusade in search of divine guidance. A photo of the two seemingly on good terms, despite recent differences, also made rounds on social media. As you can see the photo right here on uh, Mumia's East MP, Peter Salasia, Alasia and Bomet women representative Lynette Toto, all of them standing together, I think they are paying attention to what the prophet is teaching. Now, the internet has been set ablaze with chat about the prophet's influence and ability to command such a mammoth following. It is a site usually reserved for political campaigns. But for Dr. David War, he seems to have it down to a science. Some even called for an investigation into his practices, arguing that he and others like him manipulate gullible Kenyans for their own gain with his miraculous powers and charismatic personality. Soon, DCI should start investigating rogue preachers like the prophet Dr. Owar and the likes of Kanyari, people who stage manage events to hoodwink gullible Kenyans. Totally unacceptable. Sadly, both the poor and the rich get into this trap. It's no wonder that he's making headlines, not just in Kenya, but around the world. And to be honest, Kiangalia, the event that a war held in Bomet, man, that man has huge influence. I don't know what are your thoughts about a war. You can leave your thoughts in the comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's be next time. Bye-bye.